And welcome to my channel. Um, today we are going to discuss what I bring to work in my pumping bag. And this ginormous bag here is what I haul back and forth to work. Now I do work from home part of the time so I do have to haul this back home. I know um, some people will bring their pump stuff to work and leave it there but there's just too many things in here that like need to be washed and replaced on a daily basis that I just find it's easier to have a really easy bag to carry back and forth. So it's kind of large and there are, are quite a few items in here that I'm gonna go over with you. Just know that this is just a suggestion and I'm open to critique as far as like if I'm missing something that you feel is necessary or if there's things in there that you wouldn't necessarily feel like you need, definitely comment down below and I'd love to hear from you. This is just what I've been bringing to back and forth to work. So in this bag right at the top, first things first is my cooler. Now I have my cooler and my ice pack. In a previous video you'll know that I also use this to store my pump parts when I get out of the car because I do pump on the way to work and so this is a really easy way to get the parts from the car to where I'm able to wash them um, without having any milk be spilled elsewhere in my bag and also have anything go sour in the meantime, especially if it's a hot day. So I do carry that at the top of my pumping purse just because it's the number one thing that comes in and out of the purse. Next thing is my pump parts. I have my pump parts and my bottles in there with the caps. Um, I just rinsed these out so there's a little bit of condensation. You'll notice that I also have a paper towel in there. That's on purpose, that's not because it's garbage. Um, it is to make sure that any of that condensation that might build up in there, and I don't seal this just for that reason, um, just to make sure that some of that is absorbed into the paper towel. Um, the moisture you know, that builds up in here can um, create bacteria or an area for bacteria to thrive. So you wanna be able to minimize that as much as possible. Um, so I definitely will, when, you know, rinse these, wash these, but I don't have time to let them dry by the time I have to go back to my desk. So what I have is I actually have a drawer in my desk. That's a nice little place to set out this, these things once I go back to my desk to let them air dry fully. But this is how I haul them back and forth. Also, so they don't drip on anything in the bag, it's nice to have them in a little plastic baggie. Got the water bottle because if you're like me and you are pumping or breastfeeding, you'll get like ravenously thirsty. Um, so it's always handy to bring a bottle of water down there. Also, it's just handy to stay hydrated. Everyone knows that. Snacks, everybody needs a snack. These are my weakness, these chewy chocolate chip granola bars. Have yourself a nice cup of tea while you're waiting. Um, nice mother's milk tea, sort of kill two birds with one stone, enjoy a cup of tea as well as help boost your supply. It does taste like black licorice though, I'll warn you. If you don't like black licorice, you might not like this. Okay, I also bring one of these um, little baggies that helps sanitize. It uses the microwave. So basically you open it up, you dump some water in there, you throw your bottles and your pump parts in there after you've rinsed and washed them. And then you seal this up and you throw it in the microwave for three minutes and the steam will sanitize without having to boil everything. This is really handy as well if you've suffered from like a black duck mastitis or some other like infection, thrush, things like that. This will help sanitize everything really quickly so that you minimize the risk of making anything that you've got worse. All right, next we've got the Lansano storage milk bags. Um, these are handy to bring along. I'll show you what they look like. You've probably seen these before, but these are just individual bags and there's these little serrated edges there and you can pull that off and open it up and dump the milk in there for storage. This is handy if you are planning on like freezing your milk when you get home um, to store it. I know a lot of people just use these at home anyway, 
but these are handy um, for that purpose but I try not to use these as much because you know I'm, we're we're trying to cut down on those single-use plastics so I'll tend to if I know baby's going to be eating or drinking the milk the next day I'll tend to just use the reusable bottles those um, I do have a good stockpile of those Medela bottles that I keep in varying sizes so I will keep these though um, as a backup and sometimes I'll just use them for the convenience factor other things I keep in here are of course my pump adapter and tubing which I went over in a different video so if you're interested in how the Lactina pump and the adapter work definitely take a look at that video I'll, I'll share a link in the description below I also keep an extra shirt um, you know if you if you happen to spill some milk on yourself while you're pumping or you're taking your parts on and off um, milk will dry with um, it can leave like a white residue on your clothing especially if it's darker color clothing so it's always nice if you spill something on yourself to have an extra t-shirt or um, dress shirt to wear so that you're not walking or you're not stuck walking around the office with a big milk stain on you also bring a cell phone or a tablet that's loaded up with you know interesting things to look at to, to pass the time but also more importantly, um, things to uh, put on here are like photos and um, videos of your little one because that will help boost the amount of output that you get when pumping or so they say. I do find that it, it works and I know that some women will attest that it gives, it's better at um, uh, getting more let down. So that's always handy to have and I highly recommend trying that if you haven't tried that. Uh, pumping bra so how this works is you put the the pump flange through here and then this bra it's a little strapless bra holds that to your chest without having to hold your pump parts for you um, this is just really handy to use because then you can be hands-free and you know sometimes I'll bring my laptop to get some work done while I'm pumping um, so this is just handy to keep you working if you if you are able to keep working while you're pumping or if you're not just hands-free to be able to look at pic pictures and videos of your little one. This one is completely adjustable. You can find these on Amazon. This one is called Simple Wishes. Um, it also has a little insert that goes in the front here to make it wider in front. So these are definitely worth buying. I know you can get ones that have straps that look like a regular like sports bra or bralette. Um, and I believe those are meant to be worn as a regular bra, like worn all day. Um, and then you can, you know, put your pump parts in them. But I prefer this in that I can just put it on, use it, take it off and put it in my pumping bag without having to purchase a whole bunch of extra bras. <clears throat> Let's see, I think we're getting down there. Okay, so these are the little um, rubber pieces for your pump parts that help with the suction. Um, with the Medela pump um, and the valve, this is part of the valve. Um, if you ever find that you are losing suction with your Medela pump and pump parts, check here first. Check to make sure that these are still going flush against the valve itself. If they're not, then you're gonna to wanna to replace them and it's really inconvenient to have to replace them midday and you don't have an extra. So keep these, these usually come with any of your Medela pump parts and if you're like me, you don't have to replace them very often. So you're gonna have a lot of these just hanging around the house. So I always throw them in my pump bag to make sure that I don't end up not having the ability to pump. And last but not least, I have a pair of disposable breast pads. Um, I have these just in case I happen to need them. Um, I use the reusable ones that you um, use and then throw them in the wash. Just again, these are those single use items that I would rather use less of and create less waste. Um, but I do throw a pair and I do keep these because there are instances where it's just not feasible to use the reusable ones or maybe your reusable one has been soaked through so it's always handy to have a pair of these in in the diaper bag the purse and the pump bag 
So that is what I've got for you. This is the whole array of items that I carry with me when I go to pump at work. You'll notice that there's not an actual pump. I mean, there's this little part here that goes into the Lactina pump. Um, and actually my office provides me not only with pumping space, but they provide me with the pump and I only have to bring my piston and my tubes and all of my parts. Um, so I'm lucky in that, but a lot of women will have to haul their pump back and forth. And honestly, if I had to do that, I would not bring a Medela pump just because they're big, they're bulky, and there's lots of other pumps on the market that are a lot smaller and they're made to be mobile. They're rechargeable, so you don't have to plug them in. Um, the one that I really like is the Free Me brand one, and I have that, and I've, I've reviewed that in a different video, so definitely go take a look at that. Well, that's what I've got for you. If you've got any questions or comments, make sure that you comment down below, like, and subscribe. That would be, I'd be really grateful for that. And thanks so much for stopping by.